hey, a guy's entitled to an opinion, right? So, Lexi, give me a break. You are also entitled to keep that opinion to yourself. Okay, so I made a comment or two. Comment or two, Doc? You were going nonstop once you decided that movie was a woman's picture, whatever that is. A woman's picture, exactly what we just saw. It's slow, it's syrupy, it's oh, dull. Oh, 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 so there's no explosions, no eyes getting gouged out, is that no. it? Every time that woman coughed and they started playing that sappy love theme, I knew that I was in for one of those, oh, I love you, but our love can never be speeches. Fine. You didn't like it. Okay, but why do you have to ruin it for me? Who could be calling us? Are we yelling? Making too much noise? Hello? Is this uh, Lexis Morgan? Uh, who wants to know? This is the emergency room at County General. We have a young woman in here who's undergone some sort of physical assault. She can't seem to tell us her name and carried no ID except for this business card for a marriage counseling service run by Douglas and Alexis Morgan. Now, is that who I'm talking to or not? You there? Oh, um, uh, yes, yes, we're here. You have the right people. We hope. We were wondering if you could come down and possibly help us identify the young lady. Yeah, sure. We're on our way. Thank you. It's like an assignment, but... But no Mr. Shepard. Mr. Shepard? Hey? You gonna change the rules on us or something? Hello? He's usually here when we need him. Why not now? Just ask me something I can answer, okay? Well, better get going. We said we were on our way. All right. That's weird, and I don't like it. Yeah, you haven't seen anything you've liked tonight. Well, at least there's no sappy love theme. Hmm. Not for you. Not for tonight. <sighs> and we're supposed to be marriage counselors. Excuse me, we're Doug and Lexi Morgan. We talked to someone about... Yeah, you spoke to me. Dr. Levitt? Yes. These are the people on your Jane Doe's business card? Oh, great. Thanks for coming by. This one's kind of weird. I guess the lady's in her early 30s. Boy, somebody really did a number on her. She doesn't know who she is or what happened to her. Now, that could be traumatic amnesia and be gone in a day or two, or maybe not. Point is, you're the only lead we've got, so we're hoping you can help us out. I hope so, too. I guess I'm not looking at a happy ending here. I'm so sorry, but I've, I've never seen this lady before in my life. Hi, we're Doug and Lexi Morgan. Monroe. Uh, see, Lexi's maiden name was Monroe. I still get it confused. We're still kind of newlyweds. <laughs> Newlywed marriage counselors? Yeah. Um, we were both marriage counselors before we got married, and uh, we met at one of those Trump seminars. Well, uh, I'm wearing a wedding band, and I had your card, so I probably am married. At least we know that much. Possibly you've already made an appointment with the Morgans. Your name might be in their appointment book. Yeah, sure, I'll check as soon as we get back to the office. And if you were scheduled to see us, that means you would have been one of our patients or clients or whatever. So you need to know that we're here to help in any way that we can. Thank you. It looks like I need all the help I can get. Well, you can help us out right now by giving us a little privacy. We've still got some more work to do. We're gone. We'll be right outside if you need anything. Thank you. I really mean it. Thank you so much. Oh, that poor woman. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm just not sure what we're supposed to do for her, though. We could be sure if somebody would give us a little help here, but apparently we're on our own on this one. Oh, ye of little faith.
Hola. Mr. Shepard, where were you? We were frantic. No, no, you were angry. You were petty, you were petulant. Fools may rush into such circumstances, but quite frankly, angels fear to tread there. We were arguing. Married people argue. <laughs> True. But neither of you was trying to settle the argument. You were both trying to win. And when one wins, the other loses. And I'm quite disappointed in you. Hopefully, you will learn more about this kind of behavior from your present assignment. Which is this lady, right? I mean, we did do the right thing by coming here when the hospital called. Yes, you did the right thing. Though it wasn't exactly a rocket scientist kind of puzzle, now was it? <laughs> Mr. Shepard, we have developed quite the attitude, haven't we? I had to come in from Rome. Traffic was the pits. Well, how about you telling us this lady's name, hmm? No need. No need? That's exactly what we need. She didn't even know who she is. True, but other people do. Now, you're about to find out anyway. Excuse me. The police are about to interview our Jane Doe. Since that can be pretty intimidating, Dr. Levitt was wondering if you'd sit in for support. Yeah? You bet. <laughs> Dr. Daly, report to ER 7. Dr. Daly, ER Sergeant Paris, this is Mr. and Mrs. Morgan. They're going to sit in with you and Jane Doe. That, that is if you don't mind. No problem. Having you there might help her relax. Sometimes they see the badge and the uniform. It puts them off a little bit. I'll take all the help I can get. That's exactly what she said. Oh, well, let's do it. Carolyn? Rick, what, what happened to you? What happened to you? This is my wife. 